So now let's implement the logic on our front end side, right? So we can add a little button in here, right? Okay, now I can follow this Mukesh, right? Okay. So yeah, so let's create a function in here const follow user. And I can make a network request using fetch and I will make a request to follow F O W L O W follow and the method will be put put is used for update right okay and then we will have headers headers and in this header first we need to write C O N T E N T content type uh, make sure spelling is current C O N T E N T content type C is capital and T should be capital like so content type will be a double a double p l i c a t i u an application slash json right and we need here authorization a u t h o r i z a t i u an authorization and this will be equal to b b e a r e r space local storage dot get item and j w t like so okay now we need body as well so we will we are we need to send the follow id right yeah so if i can use the json first we need to stringify that stringify and here i can pass an object and in, in here we need to pass uh this follow id control c control v and we and this our follow id will be equal to this id user id which we are receiving from the url in this url parameters okay and i think this should be the logic here i can chain on then we can first we need to pass the response to json and then we will get the response and i can get i will get the data first let's console dot log this data right okay now i need to call this right follow f o w l o follow user okay yeah so let's copy a button from any component let's say uh sign in component we can copy this login button control c maybe i can paste this here and i can call call follow user like so and here i can write f o w l o w follow ah let's save this and let's see oh i have made a typo somewhere this should be comma not dot okay save this and we should see the profile why it is taking so long okay i'll navigate to console right i will click on this follow i'll wait for a response unexpected token let me see the logic content type oh i forgot bearer b e a r e r okay let's save this okay let's click on follow again uh 404 not found application slash json a u t h o authorization content type everything is correct let's go to this this is a put route follow let's refresh this and let's try this one more time maybe i think this is error is in back end because here we are getting 404 not found let's have a look uh, oh i have made a silly mistake i here i need to write slash follow my bad this is terrible mukesh what the hell are you doing okay 
<laughs> let's cross our fingers and let's try this one more time i'll clear everything let's click on this follow and i will wait for response okay here i am getting response in this following so i am following this mukesh user right and this is the id of uh yeah this mukesh right we will verify this by going to the database i'll refresh this right let's see what all changes uh, are made in the, uh, this users models so i just followed this ramesh right no i followed this mukesh uh, i followed this mukesh so in this mukesh so this is the mukesh the record of mukesh in this followers mukesh the id of ramesh has been added as you can see this is the id of this ramesh right Here you can see this both the ids are same and i am following so i have logged in with the id of ramesh so in this ramesh that is the my array in this ramesh i can see the id of this user this mukesh because i have followed mukesh so my fall following has been changed and this record has been added and this is the id of uh this mukesh right okay so this is perfect this is perfect so successfully we made made a changes in two things one is the followers and one is the following right okay so this is this is perfect behavior now there are a couple of issues here as you can see in this response this is the details of the user who is logged in what response we are getting now i followed this mukesh that is why in this following this is my array so i have logged in with the ids uh, with the credentials of ramesh and i have followed this mukesh so this is the detail of the ramesh right of the logged in user so i should update but there is one issue we are getting the password as well we should not send the password this is this is this is not expected behavior we should never send a password this is the issue number 1 and we need to update our state right we need to update our state because as of now in our state let's go to this components right if you will click on this provide uh, provider if you have you should have this react js extension installed if you look into this in our our state we have this email id email and the name right we should add follower and, and un followers and following of this ramesh as well right okay so we need to change our state and we need to change local storage as well right we need to update this data in the local storage as well let me go to application and in here we have this old data right we have this only id and id and the name and the email right here we need to make change in here okay so these are the three things which i think we need to do in here right when we are getting response and yeah and maybe we can change make this dynamic right we can make this dynamic obviously right okay so maybe we can do that in the next video or no we can do that in itself it will not take much of the time right okay so when we are getting result first things is we need to now um when we are just refreshing this we should get a empty array with follow and unfollow let's first have a look on that uh when we are making this request we should see let's save this first of all and in this array yeah in this user we have this followers this time right okay so yes so now what we can do is first of all uh mm, in this user i can make this dynamic this time now this so in here i can write user profile dot and followers f o w l o w e r s followers dot l e n g t h right and i can update this as well user profile that dot f o w l o w n g following dot l e n g t h length and we need to update our state right we need to update our state when we were when we will get response we need to update this but before that we can first we need to dispatch i think it is 
better to dispatch dispatch an action type with let's say U P D A T E update and the payload will be P A Y L O D payload. We have access to dispatch, right? Yeah, we have access to dispatch. Okay. Payload and the payload will be we will send following and the follower, right? Okay, F O double L O W N G following and the following will be uh, we have this in result, right? Uh, yeah. No man, I don't need to write this here. Instead, control X. I need to write this in here. <laughs> when we are making a follow, then I want to. Then when we are following user, then I want to update a state. So in this data, payload or payload will be an object, right? Payload will be an object, and in object it will have two keys. Uh, one is following, and that will be request or oh, not request data dot f o w l o following and f o w l o w e r s followers this will be data dot f o w l o w e r s followers okay and i need to update local storage as well local storage dot uh first you know before updating local storage first we should remove the password right let's test this so let's go to our user right when we are following then we are getting this result right here i can add a select i guess can i add a select in here yeah i can select and here i can put minus p a w s w r d password i don't want password to send i'll copy this control c p a w s w r d okay i will put this in here as well control v okay let's save this logic okay this should work now this time so i can now save this local storage dot set item and this is the user item user and what we want to save let's have a look on the response no this is not a response so response contains all the details of the user so without password so i first i need to stringify that because in the local storage we need to we can save only string only so i can save the whole data so our local storage has got updated we are dispatching now we need to handle this case in our reducer so this is the user reducer and we will be creating one more if condition if action i don't need to put a comma in here action dot type is what is the type update control c control v if that is a case then we can return an object right and i can spread the previous state dot 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 state state and i can now append in the state the followers f o w f o w l o w e r s followers and this will be coming from action dot payload and f o w l o w e r s followers and f o w l o f o w l o w i n g following and this will be action dot payload dot f o w l o w i n g okay f o w l o like so okay triple check all the typos right all the spellings it is easy to make typo in here let's save this logic and we have saved this now we need to make an update to our state as well right this one right because we need to increment this user profile right okay first let's first let let's let's test this logic whatever we have done so far okay so i am getting nice error that is l e n g t h of undefined okay so why is that a case oh in this user profile we have user yeah user dot 
okay let's save this okay and it is loading right we can see one follower right because i have followed this user we will uh, again make a request i'll follow this user two time because i i for now i'm just testing we will hide this follow button if user had already followed this but for now for testing purpose i will click on this button one more time right and i'll wait for response we are not getting response why is that a case because i think i uh, i removed that what the hell is this console dot log data let's say this okay i should not see the password that is what i am checking now we have this two followers so oh man ha yeah this request successfully worked but we are not able we were not able to see okay now this time there should be three followers okay this when this following now this time we have this three we are not able to see the password of the user and which the local storage should also get updated let's go to first let's check our state right let's check our state in this state we have this followers and following and i think we have three followers in this okay um, oh three yes beautiful our state has updated and local storage should also get updated right yeah yeah we have okay beautiful beautiful amazing amazing okay now the only thing which is left is to uh update this state user profile okay so and i guess that is very easy to do right uh, because in our console so we can uh, in this we have the details updated details of the user right so it is very easy to do that okay so after we are dispatching and we are doing all those stuff we can update our state in here okay to update our state we can use set profile set profile and in the set profile this is an object it has two keys one is the user key and one is the post key so i can spread the previous value right i can spread so you know i can get the uh result of previous state so for that i can use here callback this is a most more better approach previous state previous p r e v previous s t a t e s t a t e right and in here i can return an object right now first of all i'll spread the previous state p r e v yeah previous state and i will add a new user right i will override the user field with the updated record so we have updated record in the data right so this is this should be the logic and this should work i guess yeah this should work so we are spreading the previous state right and we are overwriting this user field available in state with this new data right and this data has the details of the user right with the followers and following as well right okay and this should work this should definitely work let's save this right now we will try this one more time as of now we have three followers when i will click on this follow we should see four followers i'll click on this i'll wait for response we are seeing four following and uh four following oh my bad so this is the oh oh sorry sorry for that and you know we are getting a response of the logged in user right so we cannot update this user right we cannot update this user <laughs> so this is little bit tricky so i'll see you guys in the next video we will improve the logic right we don't need to update this state because this is the state of this user this four following is should be the logged in of should be the of logged in user right this four following of this profile right as of now oh we need to make this also dynamic okay so we need to do lot of work we need to do lot of work right so maybe i'll see you guys in the next video right yeah now we have four followers okay so this is we need to improve this logic we cannot write like this right this is the because as a response we are getting the details of the logged in user right this mukesh is not a logged in user so we don't really need to update this or we need to find some other way to update this okay so i'll see you guys in the next video